Um, so my name is Michael Chang. Uh, I work with Puny Human Games, Puny Human Games, um, and today I want to talk to you about madness. Um, we just released a game. It's called Blade Symphony. It's on Steam. Um, we released it on May 17th, uh, 2014. Uh, this was the first sketch I've ever made, and this, well, this sketch was not the one I first ever made. This is by an artist, actually, a much better artist than me. The first sketch I ever made was actually made in about August 2006. So that gives you an idea of how long I've been working on this game. Um, it's a 3D sword fighting game that was originally inspired by Jedi Knight 2, Jedi Outcast which allows you to you know, swing your sword left and right and do all sorts of fancy moves. And what I wanted to do was deliver to people a game that I wanted to play, which was uh, sword fighting in three-dimensional space where the game cared about where your sword is at any given time. So, it, originally I started off as a mod. I started the game as a mod and I said to myself, I set myself a goal that uh, I will finish this project even if it kills me. Like, I've started so many projects before this game and have abandoned so many of them. And I know, I know everybody in here knows that feeling. As an indie developer, you have this great idea, you start something and then you abandon it because it's too hard, you've, you've got attracted to some other idea. And it really, I wasn't even like a game developer, you know, I was just uh, like a procedural artist. I wanted to create like lovely visuals and stuff and every time I started a small project, um, I would lose interest and start something fresh. Um, and this was like a cyclical cycle for me and it was pretty horrible. So I said to myself, if I don't complete this project, I'm never going to start a project ever again. That's how serious I took it. So um, it did take about seven and a half years. Uh, what you're seeing here are branding images and concept art or whatever. Uh, here uh, we, we did a devil palooza because our team was uh, sourced all over the world. Uh, we have uh, our, our art directors in Australia and Sydney. Um, we have a programmer in Germany. And uh, I'm in San Francisco and another artist in San Diego. And so it's all over the place, right? And how do we coordinate? Well, um, there's a specific time, international time, 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on Saturdays where everybody just so happens to be Australians are just waking up and the Germans are just about to go to sleep. And then we get to have a meeting on Google Hangout. And we've done this consistently, 4 p.m. every Saturday uh, uh, without fail. So that's sort of... Uh, consistency basically we have to do that because everybody at the time was volunteer we didn't pay anybody it was literally just you know hey here's my idea and in my charm and I have this idea and I have this prototype uh, check it out if you want to work on it we can work on it if not you know it's cool um, and so there's no, no money involved right and everybody was volunteer and it was really really hard to herd about like a dozen people to work on something coherent um, thankfully, we didn't run as a democracy, we ran as a dictatorship and I like hammered under everybody's head that this needs to be going in this direction. Um, so uh, the game took on a lot of early prototypes. Um, this is a, a prototype where we had a directional sword uh, blocking and uh, you know you have to match colors and so uh, if, someone swung, if someone swung left it's purple and the tracers are purple and then if you blocked left it's purple and then if you match the colors uh, you'd successfully block it. And it turns out that that was actually terrible because for people to recognize directions and associate that with a color, it doesn't work out at all. So that was another prototype that we did. Um, so uh, let's see. We did a Kickstarter um, that raised $19,000. It's not the most successful Kickstarter in the world. We only asked for 15. Um, this was before Double Fine. This is back in uh, 2011. So Back in the day, you know, Kickstarter didn't do a whole lot for uh, indie devs, but we tried our best and we got enough to pay for an engine license. Um, by the way, this is on Source Engine, uh, the Portal 2 version of it. Um, and so we ran into a lot of technical problems, which I basically had to single-handedly solve. At the end of the day, um, I, ended up, I ended up building like about a thousand individual animations uh, by hand because I did not, we could not find a reliable uh, animator who, who understood gameplay as well as did animation and ref could refine it at the same time. Um, and we kept stats. Okay, so after we released on Early Access, I got a lot of hate for any time we changed the game, players would come on, you know, and, 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 
and get really, really upset at us. Um, I love this one where he, after he says this, he goes back to play the game. Like, um, we did a Twitch TV thing. Um, we had hackers. We had Steam Workshop. Um, uh, yeah. So anyway, that's our story. Um, I'll have the game on, on demo later, and I would love to talk to you about it, watch you play it, and see your, your feelings about it. Unfortunately, I'm going to rant to five minutes and 30 seconds, so I'm going to get the achievement ahead of everybody else. <laughs> Thank you.